glass cabinet, uh, they're, they're cabinet knobs, drawer pulls. Um, uh, we've been making we've been making knobs for almost 200 years, a little over 200 years. Um, but these are kind of unique in the sense that they're they're hollow and um, they're 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 made out of hard glass, so they're very durable, very impact resistant. Um, coming up, I've come up with a very uh, unique way to um, to to put them together uh, that makes them somewhat pretty affordable to to a lot of the, the market, um, um, offering a really cool value on the knobs in the sense that, that I'm going into the, that I'm offering a middle range knob. Uh, there are real no hand blown middle range knobs, they're all very high priced. And, and uh, other than that, you step into the cast glass, which is cheap, you know what I mean? So, you know, I think I got a really unique product and uh, looking to get that into production. Uh, in the past, I've, uh, I gotta, you know, I gotta say, uh, in the past, I've, I've done a lot of jewelry work and I still consider my bee work a great passion um, in the glass work. I enjoy, I enjoy doing the beads. It's, very artistic and an expressional part of glass blowing. As far as as far as the real movement in, in lamp working, you, you know, it really started um, with the, the pipe making uh, industry, um, and and it just it created a whole movement in, in lamp working. Uh, gave lamp workers an ability to make money with their craft, and uh, you know that has moved uh, moved into some some great areas as far as like um, as far as the arts go. Uh, it's 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 given uh, uh, lamp workers the ability to step in areas that, that they wouldn't have been able to step into without uh, the movement of of, um, of glass pipes. You know, and that that really. Could, uh, out of Eugene, Oregon, and, and, and Snod, Snodgrass is, is the father of that. He, he uh, you know, he brought the lamp working to to the underground movement of uh, the Grateful Dead scene. It spurred a lot of uh, hippies to be able to drop off the off the grid and and, and, uh, and lamp work. And you know that that uh, that's created a, a real generation, a whole generation of lamp workers. Up until then, it was. Um, it was really just a small handful of lamp workers left in the world, and it was practically uh, dead. You know, it was a, it was a dying art. That was close. <laughs> My jewelry's, you know, I've gotten pretty, pretty contemporary and pretty elite with my jewelry. It's fun, you know. I consider that the, the more fun part. You know, the knobs is, you know, production and you know trying to step into some production items with the glass. Um, other than, you know, um, a lot of glass blowers are really dependent on, on pipes to to be their production and to support themselves. And you know, and I've, I'm, you know, I've tried to um, find as many other outlets for the glass as I can so that I, so that I don't have to make pipes making making pipes uh, just between me and you uh, you know I'm not saying that I haven't but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah but I yeah I've, you know it's uh, you know there's a lot of other um, avenues for glass out there other, other than pipes you know pipe has been a, a great inspiration for the glass movement um, but you know there's there's many products that, that can and uh, designed in glass uh, for all kinds of different um, outlets, you know, from, from, from major production to, um, to small, you know, very artistic levels, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I think if, if a glass blower is really determined, you know, um, you know, 
crafts or other ways of, of making money with like work. And I think they all thrive. They're all they're all wishing they could they could make that leap, but they keep making pipes. Yeah. You know, because it's so easy. You, know, you can make some pipes, walk into a head shop and and boom, they'll buy them like that. You know what I mean? But uh, try and make some beads and some rings and some pendants, you know, and uh, bracelets and, and all these other things, and then go out and you know and believe in your art, believe in your skill enough to 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 sell um, those kind of things. There's numerous venues for a lamp worker to to find other outlets than than pipes, but you still you still want to to stay within some certain items so that you can repeat one thing over and over because one thing I've learned is a lamp worker by repeating one thing over enough times that, that, that it gives you more more skill and understanding with the medium you know so that the, the medium in, in your hands is, is like English coming out of your mouth you know, it's just it just flows it's that easy it's just it's just flow